Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media True Red. welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, we encountered our first, you know, gunner, vertebrate, which was utterly terrifying, and why, you know, vertebrates in general, you keep your eye on them, because sometimes they crash into you, and sometimes they just ain't friendly. And we also have to pick up a few useful bits and pieces, yes, said we were going to be starting our great journey to the north, after a very important item to get me into Nuka World. And we're going to be doing that. But to do that, I need an armor upgrade. And to do that, I need some... Okay, basically, I've got a plan. Okay, I've got a slightly roundabout plan. But it's all going to be beautiful. Okay, because first things first, I need to go shopping. And I've got one shop in particular in mind. Because today I'd like to nip round to Vault 81. Obviously we're not doing the quest in there because I am not bananas on toast. Or at least not that bananas on toast. No, 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 no. Just an endless dungeon of mole rats. Nope, not gonna be happening. But I need to get in anyway. The shop is rather useful. But I need to buy my way in. I'd rather not be using drugs if I can avoid it. Especially as I'm probably just sitting on a giant pile of fusion cores. Oh yeah, I'm sitting on eight of the bastards. I think we're fine. Alright, don't do drugs. Just buy my way in legitimately. Not that it's necessarily that easy, mind, because uh, Chaos Junction is right there. And also, just keep an eye out in general, because seriously, there's been more in this part of the wild than I uh, like to see. Alright, what's going on today over at Chaos Junction? And I see something. Hey, over there, buddy. Institute Corsa. That's actually really good news, because right now, me and the Institute are friends. And Corsas are ludicrous mega badasses. So, uh, honestly, if he's here, then anything else that's trouble round the corner, he can just deal with that there. That's marvellously good. I say he's tough. Okay, he's nowhere near as tough as, you know, the one in the actual main mission that you run into. But he's still pretty tough. Not many things can take a shot from me. In fact, he's kind of moving. He's pulled a gun. Now he's running. Okay. What's he detecting? Because I don't hear gunfire. Okay, well, he knows something's up. Fine, just keep a distance. Is he even firing anything? Okay, somebody's firing at somebody now. Presumably, he's doing something. Oh! Okay, for once, Chaos Junction's friendly. Though, it might possibly be the Brotherhood are about to be attacked by, yeah, a Corsa. Which would be kind of bad, actually, because, yeah, they're both... Okay, guys, can't we just all get along? All right, just watch out, by the way, because they might... Ooh, legendary. Okay, it's fine. We don't need to kill every single legendary. In fact, if we're lucky, the Corsa might do it. If you wouldn't mind... Oh, the Corsa's brought in synth reinforcements. But honestly, one basic uh, synth is not going to do the job. Not against power armor. Where's the actual Corsa, by the way? I'd like them to actually kill the ladder. Oh, blimey. Okay, that is... Uh, that's more synths being brought in. That there, that's a uh, synth beacon grenade. In action, by the way. So if that was thrown in, that would suggest that... Uh, yeah, the Corsa is uh, still alive. Uh, he's not going to come over there. I'm parched. I don't care. This is fun. I feel like the Brotherhood's going to win, though. Tragically, I kind of wish they um, they wouldn't, actually. And The problem I've got here is I want to go over there, but I don't really want to walk, you know, into the middle of this. Seems like a bad call. Corsa's down to uh, limited health. He's just going to get around over there. Come on, guys. Come on. If one of you could just... Oh, don't bloody draw the fire over here, please. Uh, just get up in his face. I'd like him to win. But I doubt he's going to win. Because it feels like he's going up against, uh, yeah, Brotherhood Lad with uh, power armor and probably... Is that a Gatling laser? No, probably not at this level. Probably just a rapid fire laser pistol. I feel like the Corsa might be in a bit of trouble, actually. And seriously, I don't want to be... Don't get hit accidentally. All right, I want to watch the fight. Oh, bloody hell. What did I just say? Now, someone's a bit on fire. Oh, not a chance. He's barely losing any health at all. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I just, oh, bloody hell. Okay, um, I just got ill there. Parasites, because I'm standing in the rain. Because I was enjoying this nice fight between, yeah, the Corsa 
and the Brotherhood, and seriously, it is dragging on a bit. But unfortunately, that means, yes, being in the rain does affect your risk pool. So as a result of, oh, bloody hell, great. Just great. Now I need to inhale twice as much, oh, no, 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 twice as much bloody food, which is not good, because I was already low on bloody food, and seriously, would you guys either lose or defeat this guy? Because I've had enough of standing out in the rain, getting... Actually, he's getting weaker. But who's left? I think... Yeah, he's actually evolved. He's evolved. And I think he's won. Yeah... Okay, everybody's dead. Marvellous. And unfortunately, yes, I only want to pick a fight with the Brotherhood because they might object if I start uh, killing their own people. But, 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 what I can do is I can check what he's got on him because I might be willing to, you know, make some uh, modifications to my moral compass if it's really good. So I think if I just go behind him and then just do a pickpocket, I can check. And there we go. It's, uh, yeah, reduces damage while blocking or sprinting. That is garbage. I do not need that. Not in the slightest. And yeah, they just don't mind you looking at their inventory. That they just don't care about. It's only if you actually uh, take something, they start getting uh, annoyed about it. Okay, all that excitement done for a piece of armor I don't even want. Let's just uh, skirt over the top here because, uh, yeah, Chaos Junction is, uh, well, it was chaotic, but not that dangerous today. And that means uh, Black Blow Flying. I was about to say, that means I can just walk straight up the road to the vault, diddly diddly day. Um, okay, black bloke flies can be hard to hit. I don't really want to be wasting a crit on them. Maybe just, yeah, head up this way. We'll be fine. Everything's under control. If he comes anywhere near me, I just crit him, because I'm swimming in crits right now. But yeah, blowflies kind of scare me. They're a little bit on the, uh, yeah, fast-moving, nasty side. Then again, I need food. And the rain is... Oh, the rain's now going away. Now that I'm actually bloody already ill from it. Dear, oh dear. Right, don't stand in the rain in order to watch fights, basically. Bloody rain screwed me over there. Dear, oh flippin' dear. That's, uh, that's just bad luck. Like, the fact that I actually did a disease roll right there just because I was in the rain... Oh, I should have slept earlier. I was tired and I was thirsty and oh, bloody hell. That's what happens if you don't take care of yourself, damn it. This nonsense. Right, into Vault 81 we go. And yes, they'll let me in in return for three fusion cores, which is no problem whatsoever. There we go. Got the fusion cores. Door open straight up. And yes, there might be a couple of... Uh, very nice, easy bits and pieces I can do in here, but I'm not going to be doing uh, the main mission because, uh, yeah, Dungeon of Mole Rats, who can just teleport around? Uh, no. No, 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 no. In fact, yeah, that's actually worth a uh, handful of XP. And forgotten about that, just uh, going up to them, if you've already got the fusion cores, uh, hand them over, 100 ball caps, 8 to XP. I shan't say no. Fun fact though, this vault's actually one of the reasons I had to implement the rule you can't just use named legendaries that are guaranteed spawns, because otherwise, uh, yeah, every single run, you just begin by coming straight over here, getting your way in as fast as possible, and coming to speak to Alexis here. Because Alexis carries the Overseer's Guardian, this is a, uh, yeah, two-shot combat rifle, and uh, this thing is, uh, it's nice, it's really nice. On this occasion, it's got an automatic receiver, which is garbage, and uh, to be honest, Two shot is not as good now as it once was. Because, yeah, at some point they released an update for the game that meant the second shot didn't do quite as much damage as it used to. But it's still really, really damn good. Alright, this thing is a beast. Especially factoring in I could put all the significantly better parts on it that I've got uh, myself from various shops. So, yeah. This thing is so damn good. Combined with Righteous Authority, that's really damn good. As well, the instigating laser pistol from Diamond City. There's just a few too many really easy to get hold of, extremely strong legendaries available in the early game. So that's why that rule exists. But uh, I've made my way to Alexis anyway. And it's not because of this, it's because of something else. Here we go, a shipment of ballistic fiber, which I really bloody need. Now you're probably thinking, John, you already got a shipment of ballistic fiber. You got it back from a good neighbor. Yes, a uh, slight issue. Good neighbour can sometimes be a bit 
funny about you blowing up the drug deal. So I'm going to give them a bit of a wide berth for a while. Because I don't really need them for anything anymore. So unless I really have to, I'm not going in there. Because they shouldn't shoot me on sight. But then it's a Fallout game. All sorts of stuff just sort of happens that shouldn't. There is a chance they might freak out and just shoot me on sight. So we're not going unless we really bloody have to. So yeah, 1,250 for that, that's no problem at all, but I'm gonna be honest, cheap concrete. Concrete is, uh, yeah, useful and sometimes kinda hard to get your hands on. I mean, for 200 caps. I will take 200 concrete just to go and dump it a hangman's alley so I can ship it wherever else it's needed. That is not bad at all. And thanks to the fight, I got a bit of ammo, a handful of aid I can trade to her, so... Tell you what, a grand for all this, good deal as far as I'm concerned. And as I've just picked up parasites, this wasn't really a part of the plan. They do have, yes, a little kitchen down over here, don't they? Hang on, what are you guys selling? No, the cafeteria is mostly just selling irradiated trash, unfortunately. There is one vegetable soup, which is... Does that help hunger? I don't know, but as I've just picked up, uh, yeah... A rather unfortunate case of the parasites. Now I need to eat twice as much for everything. So, okay, this is right. That's not, not good. Okay, I'll just take that anyway. If it doesn't, it was only 26 caps. There's also a couple of things I could do in here, but you know what? No, 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 no. Let's get on with the proper business here. I don't want to be uh, faffing about doing tiny, tiny mini missions uh, over in the vault. We need to get on with the great journey that's been promised for 10 million bloody years. All right, nice sunny day. No sign of the bloatfly. Just keep your ears open. I don't think Chaos Junction should have regenerated more chaos, but you never can be bloody sure, can ya? Just eyes open. Yeah. I like to hear the noise of the Brotherhood lads. Oh, yeah. yeah, there he is. All right, fine. So he's still here. That means we're all a okay because uh, this is the same instance as the last time I was here. No trouble whatsoever. Let's get back to base. And with that in hand, back to Diamond City, though, again, being careful because my early warning system is kind of dead at this point. So be very careful. And is he right over? Right over? It's fine. If he detects you, that's not a problem. Just a bit scared of, yeah, people coming from that direction or this direction. That, that could be trouble right there. But, okay, Diamond City, with the Ballistic Fiber in hand, I need to make a bit of a change to my loadouts. And I probably wouldn't have bothered doing this otherwise, but, uh, yeah, with Parasites in play for a fair few days, I'm just going to buy Polly out of everything she's got. To be honest, all right, I don't mind paying a bit extra to make sure I've got plenty of food. Because, uh, yes, I misunderstood Parasites the first time I got her. I think I might have uh, misexplained it. Which is, I'm pretty sure I said, it makes you hungry twice as fast. It doesn't. It means when you do get hungry, you need to eat twice as much to sort it out. So, as a result of that, yeah, you get through food uh, really fast. Which is uh, particularly bad on survival mode because food can sometimes, you know weigh a lot. It means you need to carry more food around with you. Though, the teleporter's existence does make that a little bit easier to deal with for the simple reason that, you know, if things get desperate, you can just teleport back to the Institute where there is a, literally a cafeteria that will sell you rad-free food. It's not good food, but it'll keep you going. You'll be nearby to Diamond City, near to home. You'll be in no trouble whatsoever. Okay, but I've reached my limit of paying 125 caps for rad stag meat. That's not cool, Polly. That's just a flipping rip-off. So, what's all this been about? Up to now, my arm has been set up as, uh, explosion insurance. Alright, I've got myself, yes, dents on the chameleon piece and padded uh, right over here. 75% damage reduction against explosions. Stag that on top of, yeah, the damage reduction of, uh, Lone Wanderer. I can pretty effectively tank grenades, alright? I don't want to show you that because it might go a bit wrong, but trust me, I could. Things are a lot safer. But there are other things that I can do too. Even if I take the pads off, I'll still have pretty good resistance against explosions, and there are other things I could do that might be a little bit more useful. Because where I'm going, there's a severe risk I might be set on fire. And as a result of that, yes, I've brought with me a big old pile of stuff 
to sort that nonsense out. Asbestos lining. So, I mean, no offense, this is actually really good damage resistance as well in terms of uh, energy. I mean, and you are immune to being set on fire. The initial explosion can still do damage, but no fire damage over time. Now, this is going to save me a few hit points because where I'm going, I'm kind of, you know, resigned to the fact I'm probably going to end up on fire. I'm going to take a tiny bit of damage from an explosion, but it's fine. Don't worry. It's all under control. I'm giving up a little bit of explosion resistance in order to get myself, yes, complete Fire resistance. We're not complete because even Molotovs, some of the damage comes from the explosion, then there's fire damage over time. But let's just say this is a good idea. It's probably not, but I think it's a good idea. Okay, that's everything we need here. Back to base. Okay, tiredness has got a bit extreme, so we do need to uh, sleep just to recover. Sadly, that means uh, giving up a handful of adrenaline, but I think I'm only at like uh, 5 out of 10 on the adrenaline perk ranks right now, so it's not too bad. So, 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 so. Uh, Let's talk about how we're going to be making the journey because an interesting debate has popped up in my mind. You see, the original plan was pretty simple. I was just going to say, okay, we're going to return north by walking up a perfectly safe road. But you may have noticed a pattern with perfectly safe roads, which is the dungeons I say are terrifying and, you know, I'm going to die in. They're fine. All right, get through them. No problem because I can prepare for them. The perfectly safe roads, they're the ones that keep cocking, shooting me. So, uh, being an invertebrate, uh, that's dangerous. Alright, because uh, people can just shoot you. And then, you can't take cover. There's not really much you can do. You are a sitting duck. But like, you know, in flight. A flying sitting duck. Simultaneously, somehow. But if I just walk down even the safest roads of all, then... Yeah, I also get shot. So... Uh, Sometimes it's going to be safer for me to do a nice little bit of, uh, you know, vertebrating. Sometimes it might be safer for me to walk. Both of them have risks associated with them. Now, to save a bit of time, I think I would be pretty damn safe taking a vertebrate up north right now. Because if I'm going over to this quarter of the map where I want to actually start off, then there's nothing too dangerous going on here. This should be... Hopefully, pretty darn fine. So, I'm just going to make sure nothing's respawned on Chaos Junction. Well, after a good night's sleep, of course. And we're starting off in Abernathy. Wasn't going to bother visiting these guys, but there are some rad stags that spawn pretty reliably in this part of the world. And all of a sudden, I need the bloody meat. So, we'll start there and work from there. Notice there is something nearby I forgot to pick up on a couple of different trips past. So, may as well take care of that now. Ooh, and one nice thing, of course, I've only just got sick, then I shouldn't be able to get sick again. I should actually be A-OK -okay now, so I don't think I can pick up an illness from, yeah, this uh, sleep. It's only got parasites in the last day. I'm pretty sure when you get sick, you can't get sick again for a certain period of time. So hopefully we're within that nice, safe little area. I mean, I may be wrong, so I'm really hoping the game's not about to, you know, prove me a liar. And seriously, I keep... Wait, is that... No, every time I wake up, I think it's a rad storm. But yeah, the lighting is just a bit green. But no, the sky is clear. We're golden. Parasites, but nothing more. We're fine. So, okay. You guys stay here. I'm heading out. Because to be honest, night is better for me anyway. I'm a tiny bit stronger at night. It's good for stealth. And I literally have... Okay, I'm imagining stuff. I thought I saw a silhouette at the end of the, um, the alleyway. Over here. So I'm basically, yeah, horror game jump scaring myself at the moment. I was playing Resident Evil 8 yesterday. I haven't actually recovered yet uh, emotionally. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We golden? Well, hopefully golden. This is a nice, easy, open spot to cool down a vertebrate uh, as long as there's nobody on the corner. And as I've just had a bit of a night's sleep, there might be someone on the corner. Are we seeing anything? I think we're golden. I'm just going to check this path over here as well. No, we're fine. Quiet as a tomb, if you'll forgive me for using, you know, an incredibly ominous expression there. So, all right, vertebrate, let's go. So, right about here should be no problem. Night is a good time to travel as well, by the way, because you've got to bear in mind, yeah, plenty of raiders do sleep. All right, some enemies uh, sleep, not all of them. Uh, wild animals just sort of... Actually, they uh, 
They kind of do. Some animals do, some animals don't. Super mutants don't, humans do. But yeah, basically, you can sort of pass over a bunch of enemies and have less trouble with them at night than during the day. So, sneaking out at night in a vertebrate, gonna be a better idea. Okay. And I'm not just saving time here, I'm not just being lazy, because, yeah, just... The safe road north has screwed me over more than once. So... I feel like this is probably just for the safest. Alright. This doesn't seem to have drawn anybody's attention. I think we're fine. Okay, so I am here right now. Let's say I want to go to Abernathy. What is that going to bring me over? So, Beantown Brewery, no problem. Great Garden, no problem. Close by to, what's it called? Uh, Walden Pond, no issue there. I think this should be a pretty safe journey, to be honest, just because there's not much that's too dangerous around here. So, I mean, let's go, buddy, and let's have uh, no trouble if you'd uh, be so kind. If there's an emergency, I can uh, land, turn over. There's my lovely base right there, and wait, what are you, what are you doing? What are you... This, this isn't the way. What on earth are you... Okay, you're, you're bringing me straight over... You're bringing me straight over Super Mutants! Why did you go this way, you cocky lunatic? This is... Why did you do that? I told you to go over here! Why did you go south? A Super Mutant shot at us! Okay. So, basically, yes, if I go down a completely safe path, I'm going to be shot. And if I try and take a nice safe vertebrate, then... As a result of that, the vertebrate is going to go out of its way to go the cocky scenic route straight over the top of bloody super mutants, so I get shot anyway. Bloody hell, lucky they cocking missed. Okay, but now we should be into the calm bit of the world. Okay, straight over here. That is empty for now. Our jet's over there somewhere. We're not going to be close enough to Lexington to cause any trouble in that regard. That is... Hang on, what are you? There's some form of base there. Some form of habitation. That looks... That's definitely Raider, possibly. Oh, that's Gunner. A bit, a bit close to, to Gunners, actually. Yeah, passing over Gunners and... Who are we... There, was, there, 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 there are shots. There are shots. Okay. Um, I've made... Yep, there are definitely shots. And they're at me. But I've not been shot yet. Okay, this was all a mistake. I've been shot at more times than I would have done. Right, never do this again. This was... Everything I've just done was, was wrong. Alright, massive mistake. Into Abernathy. Should be good, right? Everything nice and calm. I mean, the music's not going bananas, which suggests we are okay. Just check. Okay, I'm not in caution or anything. There we go. Don't mind me. I've just brought a flipping vertebrate to your camp. It's fine. Uh, okay. We good? We good. Nothing's followed me. Okay. That was... That was more stressful than it needed to be. Uh, but, 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 but. Lovely morning. Uh, the whole reason we bloody came here is there should be a handful of, uh, yeah, nice rad stags uh, down over here. And each one of them produces two meat. That's a good, solid, big meal. Because some meals like light meals, you need two of them normally. So, under parasites, you need four just to go up one level of hunger. Rad stag is a proper stuff, and there it is. That is... That's Clarabelle. I mean, there's one. It's not... It's not great, to be honest. I was thinking there was going to be... Way more than that. Like, I was thinking three. Okay. Um... I'm not seeing anything. Alright. It's better than nothing, I suppose. It's a tiny, tiny bit of food. Uh, there's also just dead raider here. Giant pile of ammo. Shotgun is really heavy. Don't bother with any of uh, any of that. And... Feral ghoul. 
chasing a... Oh, a Brahmin. But it's a pack Brahmin. Okay, um, would you mind not upsetting the local ghoul population, please? Uh, right, down you go. Alright. Who's Brahmin are you? Possibly just an unnamed generic trader. But... Okay. This is... Not what I was expecting, man. I wouldn't mind killing him for food. Brahmins produce... Yeah, Brahmin meat. That's a ribeye steak. That's a very nice. But... Kind of feel like you belong to somebody. You know, because you've got giant piles of stuff tied to your back. And... Was that a laser shot? Hang on. Did, did I just imagine a laser blast? I don't know who you belong to. Okay, I'm just going to... Yeah, please don't get too close to me. You're unnerving me. You might be being followed. Okay, I don't know where the rest of the um, rad stags are. So... Alright, you know what? I think that's enough for now. That's a tiny bit of... Oh, hang on. Have you found a trader? Oh, it's Trash Can Carla! The true hero of the run! Bloody hell, Trash Can. Lovely to see you again. Nothing I really need from uh, her, but yeah, I think she's actually heading towards uh, Sanctuary Hills uh, right now, which is lovely. So, okay, just cook up that meat and we can be on our way. Hang on, right up here. There we go. Okay, Carla's going up in that direction. I want to come over here. I'm a little bit nervous because there can definitely be raiders in this part of the world. So, okay. Just eyes open. Watch them brackets. I know there can be raiders here. And dogs too. But dogs I'll take because I need the meat. I'm not too scared of dogs right now. No! Radstack! And if you're not running, that means nothing else too dangerous is uh, nearby to you. So I'm going to take this as uh, a massive, uh, massive win. Alright, if that's all we've got, then uh, this is this is really good, actually. Okay, in fact, is that two? That's two does! Okay, you know what? That's good. So you guys just know. Hold still. Now, I just want you to go down nice and fast, please. Because otherwise, I can't see what is or isn't actually putting me in real danger. So I'm not really in danger from these guys. But it kind of looks like I am. So, right to hit him. Good. Good, good, good. I think my, uh, yeah, marker might have been a little bit misplaced. I assume that's what I want over, over there. More meat, more meat. I'm going to need it for the road ahead now. Now with parasites, so blowfly. Don't appreciate that, actually, especially when there's bloody bushes in the way. Ooh, how many are we talking? This is the ranger cabin, right? This is, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, well, right now, you're just... Oh, there might be more. How many more are we talking? I see you. Are you inside or outside? Caution and fading. I see one. Two. Two both inside. And one of you might be static. You're mobile. I might just put a... Yeah, I'm just going to put a grenade in there. That's probably the best option. Because I want to go in that place. But bloke flies are scary. They fire fast and they're hard to hit. Just always remember, you know, you've got the right grenade sex. In this game, you can very accidentally call down a vertebrate when you meant to cause an explosion instead. So... Actually, I see you holding still right there. Good. Never mind, I might not need it. And I swear I saw... I thought I saw another on the wall. Is this what I think it is, by the way? Yeah, range cabin. Thought so. And Oh, hang on. No, you're on the other side of the wall. Right, maybe just, uh, yeah, grab him before more trouble. So over to here. And in just a moment. There we go, buddy. There you go. You just know. Don't you even flip and think of waking up. All right. Are we good? Are we golden? I think we're fine. And meat. Alright, more meat is not going 
to hurt. Now, in here, that's the gland. Don't need that. Yes, sir. Go run away to here for some reason. And unfortunately, then the apocalypse happened. Here we go. Wasteland Survival Guide. Permanently take 5% less damage from melee attacks. I could have come and got this several times. I just sort of forgot. Now, that's not going to hurt. Sooner or later, someone's going to punch me in the face. Like, say, you know, ghouls. They're all melee attacks by default. So, as a result of that, you know, it's just less damage. This is objectively a really damn useful book. Now, scoop up the rest of the uh, the meat while I'm passing by. Unless the corpse has rolled uh, down the hill. Where's the... Where's the bloody corpse gone? There must be some giblets... Okay, don't hang around for for too long. Is that giblets? Right. Oh, oh. No, that's parched. I thought something was wrong because of the water there. But no, I just want the... Hang on. Blowfly meat too. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, five bottle caps. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Uh, seriously, where are the... Where are the giblets? You should have produced, like, giblets all over the shop. I know you rolled down the hill, but... It's probably on screen right now, but you know me, I'm just not going to see it, so let's not even worry about it too much. Well, one bait bloke fly, I shan't say no to that, and... Okay, there's... There's a vertebrate over there. Hang on, that's... Hang on, where on earth were you just landing, buddy? That's right by the vault, that's... Oh, okay. I'm just a little suspicious of him. I don't 100% know why. Does that look like the Brotherhood to you? Because, I don't know, something something to me is saying that doesn't look right. I might be getting a bit paranoid right now. And they're, they're doing a lot of firing. I can't hear it, but I just want to. I just want to get eyes on the pilot. I want a VATS ID. I want a VATS ID on the pilot, please. And I just can't. Okay. There is a little, yeah, a raider and a dog, who's to the north of the Brotherhood. Whoever was on the gun is dead now. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. And I was going to. Then again, that looks. Is that Brotherhood fatigues? Oh, I bloody don't. Uh oh. Okay, well, somebody has hit their engine, and if we're lucky, they're about to start, yeah, going out of control. Now, you see they're going to go and try and go, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, just, just, this, this, this is, this is, this is fine, this is, this is, I say this is fine. I'm in caution. Why am I in caution? Why am I in caution? I think that was actually Gunner. I think that was gonna. Why was I just in caution for a second? Was it them? Was that a gunner bird? Again? I mean, I could check the corpses, but the physics items are kind of going jibbly gibbet, which unnerves me. Yep, that's just going jibbly gibbet. Gunner conscript, I was right. I thought it looked wrong. That was actually a gunner. Right there. That was a gunner. And now, now that vertebrate shall forever hump the ground. Okay, that'll have been the pilot. I don't know where the, uh, the other one was. Yeah, they're becoming more common. I need to be careful here. Every time I see a vertebrate, ID the nearest cover, whether it's an internal environment or not, and just beeline at it. Because, no, that's fine. That's just, uh, holding down a little bit too long there. It's all under control. Gunner birds are becoming way more common. I'm not sure if they're more likely to spawn as the game goes on. It feels like it, but I'm not too sure of the, uh, yeah, the rules there. Bloat fly down by the river. Don't need to bother with that. To be honest, I can go back over to staggering rifle. At this point, yeah, more bloat flies down over there. No trouble with them. There can be dogs over here as well. There's also... Ooh, Pikmin's calling card. That's fine. Yeah, random event dosed about uh, over here. No trouble. In fact, I might have seen that one before at some point. I swear I ran into that one uh, close by to uh, Mass Fusion, didn't I? I think I might have done. Okay, I swear there's some dogs around over. That's Bloatfly. 
Okay, could have sworn some dogs always spawned there. Wouldn't have minded the uh, the meat. But that's fine. Just avoid you. Then head down over here and we're almost back to uh, good old Sanctuary Hills. Which I did want to uh, very quickly come and visit. This, by the way, was supposed to be the nice, safe, easy part of the episode. You know, just the warm-up to get us nice and uh, into it. This was not supposed to be the, oh, bloody hell, I'm under attack from a vertebird again part of the episode. All right, this was supposed to be nice and chill, not getting sick and explosions. And as I suspected, Trash Kankala is here already. So, okay. Who actually still lives here, by the way? Uh, four people. So... Mama Murphy, probably, uh, yeah, what are their names? Uh, the couple. Who's the fourth, though? Okay, that could be of use, because, yes, 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 yes. One thing I wanted to check here. Hang on. Who the flip are you? Oh, good, a random nobody. I can move you. That's fine. You know the nicest thing about this place right here? There is no shortage of bloody wood. Like, seriously, there is so much wood here because there are so many bloody trees. Alright, this place is just feeding wood to the rest of the Empire. So, that settler, I'm just going to give him all the wood he can carry and then we're sending him straight back home with that wood. And possibly that steel too if he can carry it. So, this lovely chappy here is now carrying 300 steel and 320 wood. And you, sir, have now been promoted to my main settlement. Have fun at Hangman's Alley. Also, last time I ran to Kana, I completely forgot to trade for meat because, seriously, every bit counts until I get over these bloody parasites. Okay, all that done, we're now in a good place to actually begin the journey proper across the north. So I'm just going to be kind of uh, skimming across the entire northern commonwealth here. Starting off in friendly enough territory, but pretty soon we're going to be going into some nastier stuff. Yes, it's... Uh, there's going to be trouble, potentially, sooner or later. If we're lucky, though, let's start things off nice and peaceful. That's just some blowflies. No need to cause uh, trouble with uh, them. Familiar, safe, early game roads. But as we have seen uh, time and time again, uh, that means nothing. All right. That means uh, literally nothing. Okay. Now there can be gunnerverter birds uh, anywhere. I've seen two of them in pretty rapid succession, which is... Uh, terrifying and makes me wonder whether there might be more yet to come and on top of that random events suiciders just any old random nonsense i happen to have not seen before keep your eyes it's fine that's you know my own base my own turrets not a problem at all just stick to the familiar roads just be aware it's been a while since i've uh, been through here there's a very real possibility that some enemies uh, might have regenerated. Like in survival mode, uh, you almost forget they do that because it takes so bloody long. Also, while I'm passing by, I should grab more hub flour because uh, I am starting to run a little bit low of uh, the old, uh, yeah, great mentats. Let's just uh, grab a little bit. What's that? Okay, I'm back to being peckish and uh, yeah, it's going to take two big chunks of meat to sort that out. Okay, probably just my own turret up there. Probably not a problem. I don't know why. My bloody spidey sense is tingling right now. I'm feeling like I've forgotten something or something big is around the corner. But I don't know what it is. Oh, I should mention why I think about it, by the way. This comes up a lot, which is people occasionally mention, John, it looks like your health just went up. What's going on there? Because, okay... The thing is, do remember, when you get hungry in this game, it causes endurance to drop by one. When I eat, it means the endurance minus one goes away. So after I eat, it always looks like I've gained a bit of health, but I haven't. I've just undone the minus one uh, debuff that you otherwise get when you are hungry. So I'm not actually gaining health from eating. I'm just losing the minus health I gained while I was hungry, which is... Different. I know it sounds very similar, but it's not. It's actually very distinct. All right. Getting rid of a minus one endurance and thus gaining more health as a percentage. Because the health bar on the bottom left is always a percentage. Is 
very different to gaining health as an absolute, which you do from eating normally. So yes, just uh, keep those two things uh, in mind, because in a moment, I'm going to eat. And then the health bar is going to look like it's gone up, but it's only doing that because my maximum health has recovered, and thus as a percentage, it's, it's maths. Okay, I promise it's maths, and it's going to happen every time I get hungry, then eat. Every time I get hungry, health bar is going to tick down a tiny bit, because as a percentage, I've now got less health, then it recovers when I actually uh, eat again. And that is, that's a good amount of hub flour over there, I'll be having all of that. So there we go. I just ate. So the health bar looks like I've just regained health, but I haven't. I've just, you know, regained maximum health. So yes, I just thought I'd put a reminder in because I hadn't mentioned that for a while and uh, a few people had brought it up in passing. Now, uh, just keep your eye out over here, by the way, because, uh, yeah, a handful of raiders. If I was to see a legendary, it might be worth taking a shot. Then again... XP is XP. You seem to be kind of isolated. I'm just going to knock your head off, actually. Because no one seems to actually notice or care about that. Yeah, if you help out Garrison the Quarry, then come back later. It turns out he was uh, kind of working for a raid gang. And then Bear over there. That is a random event around that campsite. So we'll just take him out too, because... Uh, Honestly, that's fine. That's just even more flipping meat. I've been kind of lucky, actually. I was saying I need meat, and I just keep running into uh, more and more meat. So uh, this has worked out very nicely. In fact, that's meat right next to a campfire. Better and bloody better. Double meat. Flipping love it. And you guys, a uh, handful of basic stuff. Nothing too dramatic. And the brackets look calm, if not entirely still. Then again, there are raiders over there. I think we're fine just very quickly. Uh cook all of this, nip down to the bottom. There are some ribs, lovely. Just, you know, bear in mind, time doesn't freeze while you're cooking. So if something comes up to me when I'm cooking, I kind of just die, by the way. So that's fun. That's something to look forward to. That's just a uh, rad rope. She doesn't seem to mind me too much. So uh, keep going this direction. Yeah, I've set a, uh, a marker. No need to... Uh, pick fights with stuff I don't need to pick fights with. Uh, that red roach is angrier for some reason. Don't worry about that. Okay, coming up on Bedford. Uh, ghouls were cleared out long ago, but not that long ago, so uh, they should still be uh, nice and dead. And honestly, if they're not, I'm really not worried by uh, ghouls. Okay, basic ghouls in a low-level area. That's just kind of really legendary farming. That's kind of optimal, to my mind. At this point, ghouls have become legendary farms. Okay, if I start cutting across open ground uh, right about here, we should be good. This should be a pretty peaceful bit of the world. All right, cemetery on the right. Not going to Ten Pines Bluff either. Instead, first new location. Well, actually, okay, the range cabin was technically... A new location, but it doesn't feel like it, and I love that. I love how you can just see the Brotherhood blimp from, like, everywhere. The airship's just, you know, visible all the time as a permanent physical reminder, hey, the arrival of the Brotherhood has kind of changed things, which it has, because, you know, they're vertebrates around too. I love the way the Brotherhood handles in Fallout 4. It's just wonderful. Okay, just, you know, maybe don't chat too much. He is open, John. He is open. Somebody lives on top of this highway. I mean, normally, elevated encampment, lift. That says gunners to me. Okay. Wasn't really expecting gunners in this part of the world. Then again, I am heading pretty far east. If they're there... They don't appear to be guarding their own lift. Also, just keep your eyes open for other stuff, too. Hang on. I don't see anything, but yeah, there's the gunner symbol on this. I'm not going in. Obviously, not going in. But, you can see where I am going. And that is uh, right there. The crashed remains of a plane. Skylines are 1981. 
Now, this place can be really dangerous. But there's a reason I left it till now. Because there's something good here. And there's a decent chance. It's not guaranteed. But there's a chance that uh, if you wait to come here until after reunions. And that's the arrival of the Brotherhood. Speaking of them. That was accidental. Didn't mean to kind of, you know, have those two things uh, lead into each other beautifully. Uh, yeah. Sometimes the Brotherhood have already taken this place over, which would be ideal. No, that was a bird. I thought I heard the beeping of a super mutant suicider, because mutants can be in this area. Okay. I don't know what I'm going up against here. That's the thing. And... You're named... Which is interesting. Okay. Um, who are you? I was expecting a random selection of maybe mutants. Maybe, uh, yeah, gunners. Okay. Slow. Steady. And now I can't be too close to anybody yet for the simple reason. I mean, I'm going to be honest. If you are isolated and you're named, and again, if he just wants to hold still for a second, if you just want to hold still, buddy. Wait. Did that kill just not generate XP? Because XP's being weird. Okay. Did I just not see the... What just happened? Because yes, there was weird XP that wasn't really supposed to be there. Um, last week with the super mutants. Now... Okay. This is... Not what I was expecting to to see. Not precisely. I was expecting more. More to be here. Okay. Well, I don't hear trouble. I've got some cover at the bare minimum, and I believe this is... This is what I wanted. Where were you, by the way, buddy? That's just shotgun and whatnot. 50 caliber. I'll be taking that. Hello there, buddy. So, you had a name and not enough health, unfortunately, uh, for you. I'll be taking all of this. Okay. Sturdy armor across the board, which is uh, not bad. Leave that. Don't bother with that. And this toilet right here. Astoundingly awesome tales. Nice. Read. Bonus. There it is. Good. I was wondering where the, uh, you know, the artwork had gone, because it is lovely. So, 5% damage against Myalurks. Again, bear in mind, some really tough enemies are Myalurks, because that's the entire Myalurk family, I'm pretty sure. Kings, queens, all the rest of it. Really tough enemies, especially when we get to Far Harbor, could be Myalurks. All right, bonus 5%, pushing me over the edge into killing them with one shot. That's important. That's bloody useful. And now I just want to get out of here, because... This has just been a little bit too easy, actually. So I want to go before my luck runs out. Because I don't... I don't actually like that. I'm just going to be having that, by the way. Yeah, okay. Right, time to keep heading east in a hurry. To be precise, yeah, southeast. I want to be heading southeast at this point. So, kind of massive cliff in the way. And lots of wreckage two. Uh, can I just squeeze through? I can't squeeze through here. Over the top, please. Over the top. It's too quiet, and I don't like it. I was expecting to have to do a fair bit of sniping in this part of the world, and also I don't like these rocks. This is a lot of cover. Listen carefully. We have not been here before. This is all, all new. I know the uh, General Atomics thing is right there, by the way. I don't really need that. There's not really much to be got out of it that's particularly useful to me. So I'm going to be leaving that one uh, leaving that one be. 
just doesn't seem to be much uh, much benefit. Okay, just here we go. And maybe imagining noises at this point. Yeah, that's uh, what's it called? Dark Water Hollow down over there. I want to be a little bit careful here because somewhere in the back of my brain, I'm thinking rad scorpions can be around here. All right. Which means I don't like being so exposed on, yeah, rocks. There we go. Now I've got a bit more of a view. Just wild mongrel. That's fine. Two wild mongrels, in fact. Uh, hang on. No, three! So I still got the uh, McJibbles set, by the way. And frag grenade, yes. Okay. Go right about there. That should do the job. There we go. All three dead. No fuss. No mess. That's even more meat. And no one seemed to be... Yeah, there it is. I see you. Okay. We all saw that, right? It's a rad scorpion. You don't want to get seen by them. Because if you get seen by them, they will hunt you to the ends of the cocking earth. What was that? Okay. This is, this is fine. 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 Okay. Trust, John. Have a little faith. In your stealth. ID the rad scorpion. He's just he's just sliding. Alright, he doesn't feel like walking. I've only got eyes on one. Yeah, he's he's not walking. He don't feel like it. And oh hang on, what was that? Oh maybe it was nothing. There's the shoe. I think it's just one. And if it is just one, I should take him out. I should take him out. Go. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, that's oh oh oh. Okay, this is this is this is this is why I've just made a mistake. This is why I've just made up. A... Also, there's a wild mongrel over there. I'm just going to take a shot at you because I don't like. Okay, I've just made. Nope, nope, there, you see, this is, luckily, he just spawned pretty far away from me on this occasion, but there's something up there too. Rad stagger kit's fine. I should not have done that. That was a mistake, okay? He was just kind of nice to me, actually. He was pretty nice. And by the way, you're just chilling out over there. You can just die because you're isolated. Okay. We don't want to do that. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have critted. Okay. I should have critted and that that would have been the end to it. I'll take the meat by the way. I don't even want to eat it now. Shouldn't have done that. That was that was dumb. Okay, I just thought you know what, that'll save me some time. That's a wild mongrel up there, to be honest. That's fine. I just want the brackets to be calm. Another one over there. Bloody hell there's a lot of wildlife in this part of the world. That was a good amount of bonus XP. I just want the brackets to be calm. I will kill everything in the cocking world if it gets me calm brackets. And I think I've got them. Good. Just go up and down. Good. If you stand up, then crouch again. And there's still no, yeah, movement. That's a pretty good sign you're really isolated. Okay. This is... This is fine. Yeah, I think we're all alone. And I've still got so many crits. All right, don't forget, you've got crits. It's a thing you can use. Coming upon Medford Memorial. All right, this should be quiet because you may recall, last time I was passing by this area on the way to Taffing Turner, I did uh, detonate the, the suicider. So as a result of that, I think he took out another basic mutant. That might be like a hound or something. I've got a good shot from where I am. I see what I think is one over there. Just make sure we've got clear behind me. Yeah, seems fine. I mean, it looks like there's 
something there, right? Okay, there's one there. He's too far away for a VATS ID. He looks like a pretty much uh, a basic to me. I'd like to uh, have it confirmed. Oh yeah, he's a basic. In fact, he was probably caught up in the suicider explosion previously. So we can just go down. No one seems aware of that, which is good. Calm. Calm. Okay. This is... Yeah, this is fine. So, okay. This hospital, I do not want to clear it. I want to get in, get one thing that's pretty early on, and then get out again. That's it. Because there is, uh, yeah, one of the uh, the journals, the medical journals in here. Because, you know, they're in places that make sense. So, medical journal in hospital. So, by the way, I'll be helping myself to that. Is the corpse of the, uh, the suicider still around by any chance? No, that's... Synth. Okay, no, that's fine. Synth is fine. Because, John, synths are friends. Okay? They are friend synths. They're not going to be causing trouble with you. As long as you don't cause trouble with the Institute. Which I'm going to be not doing for as long as possible. Okay, quick drink of water because I want to be in maximum shape for this. This is mutant territory. And I'm ready to cower out of this one. Okay? If need be, we cowered out. Mutants can be tough. They can be scary. All right, we are we are careful with mutants. Really depends what spawns. If it's nice, easy light stuff, we can take it out. Okay. We're inside. So I've got some nice advantages in the form of shadowed gear kicking in. We don't make any moves until we've started. It's that door up there, by the way. I want to get in there, get the magazine, get out. That's it. It worries me. I can't see anything. I would have expected to have seen something by now. I mean... No barks either. Super mutants are chatty. They like talking to each other. There it is. Suicider. Okay, and I know what to do with a suicider. Okay, because when you're dealing with suiciders and you're figuring out which arm to shoot, right is right. Okay, someone said that in the comments. It's a good way to remember it. The problem is if I take him out that way, he's going to make a big noise. I don't want him to make a big noise. And also I could get a free... Oh, it's about to say I could get a free headshot on him. Then I can get a free mini nuke. How you doing, buddy? Hold still, please. Just hold still. No, hold still. I'm going to wait till he sits down or something. I'm going to wait till I get a good shot. All right, we're not taking risks with suiciders. Because I could just crit detonate him right now. But he's got no friends with him. So there's no point. All that would do would be, uh, yeah, create a giant large amount of noise that draws all the other super mutants straight into this room. That's not what we want. So I'm just going to wait for him to come back. Sooner or later, he's going to sit back down that chair. Here he comes. He's around. He's around. Where are you, buddy? If you just want to hold still for one sec, just seriously, just anytime you're ready, buddy. There we go. Right, and go. Okay, someone just became aware of that. But he's a basic. Go. Done. Still caution. Oh, dog. Dog. Take. Out. Didn't quite detect me in time. That's three. Back to hidden. Good. Okay, I think that might be all we need. Because if you're dead, and you're dead, and you're dead, and no one's suspicious right now, that would strongly imply no one else in this room is going to detect me if I just walk up, around, in... I really hope that door's not locked, by the way. Because I didn't actually check that. <laughs> uh, good. Good, good, good. Listen... Are you ready? Skirmisher. Don't want to take him out. It depends how isolated he is. I'm a bit worried by the railing in the bloody way. Okay, that's better. Anyone aware of that? Nobody. Good. 
Oh, 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 who, 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 who's aware of me? Who's that? These guys are being a bit... Maybe it was somebody who just saw the corpse. It might have been seeing me, it might have been seeing the corpse. This was supposed to be in, out, 30 seconds. Also, didn't read the subtitle. Hang on, who was it? See you. Yeah, I see you, buddy. I see you. You're a bit isolated, to be honest. Oh, I'm taking the shot, and no, I'm not taking the shot. No, I am taking the shot. Straight through the wall. You got any friends, by any chance? Don't look like it. Someone on the right over here. Okay. I could hear someone over there. If need be, sprint for the door. Locks really strong. Balls. <laughs> um. Okay. I don't know where the key is. I don't really want to go looking for it. That's darn it. Okay. Good. 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 Hang on. Am I supposed to be coming here anyway for some reason? I am as well. I've got a jackpot mission to right here. That's sometimes useful ammo, so... I mean, okay. This is... This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Then again, so far what we've seen is pretty easy. And if I could just find the cocking key, which, as I said, I don't know where it actually is. So that's going to be good. Let's just see movement over there. Basic super mutant. If he wants to step out. Step forward. Just another step. One more step. There you go, buddy. There you go. Uh, 90. Wow. He's got some good cover there. Down he goes. In fact, if I could just kill a few more, I could get up to... Okay. Back away. The only person to be aware of that... Oh! <laughs> Shitting hell! Take you out! Because he hasn't actually seen me yet. Is there another? Is there another? Is there another? Is there another? Is there okay? Okay. Back away from the door while still keeping eyes on it. Jesus. Okay. It's fine. In fact, I'm very close to the next level. I really don't want to take lock picking one, but for. Okay, mutant cry over to the right. Quite to the right, actually. But I didn't see the the bark at the subtitle, so go. I know over that. Uh skirmisher. Looks like you'll go down nice and easy. And still not enough to level up. There's another one over there somewhere. Can I go up to this level from here? Okay. Maybe time to retreat to a different uh, area. And back to... Oh, peckish. Good. Time to eat 10 bloody kilograms of food. What was that? The subtitle was longer, but only saw it for a split second. Okay. This is fine. Go. Go. Safe for now. That's expert. I can do expert. Okay, that's more free stuff. And go. 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 Let's go and check this room safe. Just take you out. Get crit back up to where it should be. There's the level up. Oh, someone might have just seen that. Uh, several people might have just seen that, actually. Uh, you're coming over. Over here, uh, back over to this, 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 this. Is... Don't want to back off over in this direction. Back off over here towards the thing. Back off towards the thing. I've got a little bit of light cover right here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. That's two. That's two of them. 
go. Skirmisher. Hasn't seen me. But that's really starting to draw the attention now. There you are. But you're not firing either. I think I saw a dog, or I possibly heard a dog. Okay. We're fine. There's a stealth boy. There's some uh, free money in the form of a stim pack. And uh, what else have we got? Lace pistol, fusion cells, nothing dramatic there at all. Okay. We're fine. Everything's under control. A tiny bit of useful ammo. Uh, Night Vision 308. Ooh, there's a 308, uh, yeah, a receiver. In case you don't have one of them already. Not bad, not bad at all. Other than that, kind of trash, we'll just leave it be. But we're not done yet, because now, yes, level up. Now this is, uh, I mean, level up's already tricky, but this one just became uh, even trickier. I had no intention of taking any lock picking whatsoever. But if I don't, well, either I need to find a key, which I don't know where it bloody is, and it's probably being held by the boss, so I don't really want to go and fight, I can't get that skill magazine. That's, what, 2% bonus limb damage, which I know doesn't sound like much, but stack all them together, that's 20%. And uh, limb damage just straight up counters ghouls, and ghouls can be, uh, they can be tanky. When you get up to, like, you know, uh, putrid ones and whatever. Okay, the alternative is, I know what you all want to see. You all want to see Adamantium Skeleton 2, and you're going to come round to the new MATN headquarters and burn it down if I don't take this right now. But, on the other hand, this is the level when Critical Banker 3 shows up. And that's not just an extra crit, it's also banking a crit has a chance to save an additional one beyond it. The final level is, yeah, not so good, it's just an additional one. But 3 is huge. Okay. I feel like I deserve one of these over here in luck, by the way. Okay, I have been ignoring better criticals for cocky gauges for you lot. Alright, I have been doing what you all wanted me to do. I'm going to hold off. Alright, Critical Banker 3 is really, really good. Then again, is it... Oh, bloody hell. Is it better than guaranteed safety against... I'm going to take the safe option. Alright, I'm going to do it. Adamantium Skeleton 3, I am now completely safe from all forms of limb damage forever. Alright, I now cannot be crippled. I can't have crippled arms, legs, the work is done, congratulations team, you all did it. Okay, so I couldn't get the one thing I did want, but I did get something, you know, else, completely unrelated, that I forgot I was supposed to be gathering, so... Alright, is there any point going any further, any deeper, any anything around here? You're... you're dead. Don't know why you're dead, but you're dead, so that's nice. Uh, I feel like we should just go at this point, because... Actually, I could open up the... just on the off chance, the key that opens the door is in the safe area. I could open this at the bare minimum... I'm going to be honest, just basic med supplies for uh, Expert Lock. That is uh, pretty much trash. Actually, nothing interesting here whatsoever. Handful of drugs, so I guess I can uh, sell them, but pretty underwhelming, really. Would have liked a bit more. Also, uh, brackets are shuffling. We're not 100% done here. Okay, just be ready for anything. That's an empty lift shaft. That's back downstairs to two. Was there one on level two? I never took out. Also, hang on. From level three, can I drop in from above? Sometimes in ruins, you can drop in from above. That is a theatre. Okay. There's definitely a key somewhere. I kind of want the key. I mean, I feel like I've... I've taken out most of them. I... Never mind, never mind, never mind. Crit, 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 crit you down. Okay. This is... Someone else was aware of that. Was he in there? Was he in there? Was he elsewhere? I think he must have been in there. Watch the door. 
There's you. Oh, bloody hell, it's another one. Okay, that's a second legendary enforcer. Two in a row. Back to hidden. But the bracket's not 100% happy with me. Okay. I want everybody to cross their fingers on both hands here. Right and left, all right? Right for the guy on the right, left for the guy on the left. I've now got two shots at something good. And like I've been saying, I am owed a decent weapon right here. Okay, so... Number one, what have we got? Oh my. Oh flipping my. It's not the, uh... It's not the weapon I wanted, but... Unyielding. Now, I can't remember what limbs I've already got unyielding on. But if that's a third... Wait, third or fourth? I think that's third. If that's the third piece of unyielding I've got, that might be a duplicate. I honestly can't remember what limbs my existing unyielding pieces are, uh are on, which is... <laughs> okay, uh, I'll need to check that when I get back to base. But that could be now the option to have, if I get down to 25% health, plus 9 to every stat. Okay, that's... Well, we're having that, obviously. And okay, what's behind door number 2? Just be careful in case there's anything else uh, here. And it is... Hunters. Okay, that is, yeah, that's not even a weapon. Sorry, I read Hunters and thought it was like the uh, bonus damage to animal weaponry, which is okay, if not great. No, that's okay. Well, you can't win all of them. Once again, I've had so much bloody armor and so few bloody weapons. All right, keep on keeping on here. No way to the second floor via the stairs at the end of the third floor. Just straight through. Brackets are comfortable and happy with me for now. This looks like an office. I kind of want an office. Offices seem... That's a generator. It's fine. Okay. It says this is all A-OK. -okay. No keys, but yeah, just... Okay, really should have made more notes about this place, but I wasn't really planning to have to clear out the whole bloody thing. It's a safe and the ammo is useful, but tragically still no bloody key. Oh, we got one more mutant just around the corner here. Sorry, didn't even realize there was anyone in here. Luckily, just a basic, and I can start gaining some uh, some crits back. Because yeah, I'm down to only uh, one in hand at the moment. So, oh, that's nice. Hang on. Something's a bit nearby. I'm around the back of the... Oh, I'm around the back of the Suicider, aren't I? Yes, that'll do. Because that there, that could be an excellent source of, uh, yeah, a free mini nuke. Though I may need to dump that down the line just because uh, weight considerations. Are you, uh, you were around the back of here, weren't you, buddy? Yes, yes, you were. So take the mini nuke. We're okay for now. Okay, that's one wing cleared. Straight over here. There's... Oh, yeah, I remember this. There's there's a cafeteria at the rear, which can have quite a few people in it, actually. Okay, maybe scout that out and make sure there's nothing elsewhere first. So, yeah, that's the cafe. Then we've got, yeah, a lift right there. Don't worry about that. Okay, one basic super mutant. I see basic soup mutant number two. Just the two? But just the two. I think grenade, actually. Even though that means I don't get the uh all the rest of it. Yeah, grenade. Go. This oh it's fine. Uh also I think one of them died, one of them didn't. Be ready. Let's just take out our friend. I see ya. Oh, actually, I don't see. That's kind of the point. But if you want to get to me, this is the only way to come, buddy. So, you know what? I'll take that as a win. One of them dead. Actually, if one of them's dead, I should have just taken the VAT shot. Because now I've given up the ability to gain another crit. But let's just wait him out. Alright, back in. Back to hidden. And where is... 
Wait. Where is? There was... What? I see two corpses. But if there's two corpses, then who was... Who got annoyed? Oh! There was a third over there. Uh, and he's behind... He's behind a thing. And he's also wearing fancy armour. Lardy flippin' dar, so get on over here. And... There you go. You can just go down, buddy. Lovely. We're still not done. There's more yet. He was the... He was the kitchen mutant. Okay, so my grenade actually did hit everyone I wanted it to. It's just that, uh, yes, there was an extra... Extra person around. Bloody hell, mutants. This is going pretty well so far. I'm just a little cautious because it never bloody ends. There's so many of them. Okay, back up to the second floor. I'm not sure if I actually came in to this room. Go. Go, come on. We've got to be to the last handful of scavengers now. Okay, just bathroom. And broken. Straight to Thing. Nothing again. Can I hear footsteps? Might just be flames, not footsteps. I know there's another one. Somewhere around here. Room to room. Use the windows as far as possible. That's the guy I looked down onto previously. If somebody would like to have a key at their station, that's a toothbrush. It's not a cocking key. Seriously, where is the cocking key? Nurses stations would be the sensible, logical place for them to be. Oh, hang on, it was there. It was just inside the instrument case. Oh, bloody hell, I've forgotten about that. But that is... That says theatre key. Now, I don't necessarily want to go into the theatre, okay? I just wanted, you know, the hospital key that opened up everything. Because I don't even know what's in the theatre. I don't care. Okay, my plan, you may recall, was, Oh, I'll just come in, I'll sneak up here, I'll get the thing and then be on my way. Right. The key doesn't open that. I did all of that, and it's not the right key. Is there even a key that opens that? I'm not sure there's a key that opens that. I think I've done all of this for nothing. You know, just the good of my heart and maybe some XP. XP's not bad. Okay. I'll have a Luxy at the bare minimum. This is obviously the boss of the area. What's it going to be? Just be ready. Loop around. Have a look. Say, oh, what's that? Is that a dog or something? It's a dog. Take him down nice and fast, nice and quiet. Yeah. In trouble. Bit of caution there. There's another, there's another hound. Okay. They're about to open that door. Really hope they're not. What was that? Butcher. Stupid noises. Butcher's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, Butcher's alright. Butcher I can deal with. One good solid shot to the head. At, you know, a decent close range. I'll take out a Butcher. I'm doing all this for a generic loot chest, aren't I? At this point, this is sunken cost fallacy. What you're witnessing right now is sunken cost fallacy. How many is that? Is it just him? Because if it is... Yeah, that's glass. It's just him. Take them both out. Okay, just get right over to here. Hit the butcher first. Take him out. Go. He goes down. Dog. He goes down. Is that it? Was that also. Yep, that was four leaf clover. Okay. We got crits. 
Anything else? Keep on keeping. One more! He completely missed all the action outside. Are we finally cocking done with this area? There might be one more out here. Just check this side. Okay, just... All right. Caps. Random guy. Raider. Won't say no to uh, any of that. Or the ammo, at least. Any chance of some food? Also, how are the... I think we've done it. I think we've taken them all out. <laughs> this better be worth it, by the way. Because, oh, I've got a syringe rifle back. I don't really need it, to be honest. No. Uh, okay, so all of that was for... 308... Okay, fine. 20 bottle caps and suppressed sniper rifle. Okay, if anyone asks, we did this for the XP. Because the XP, that was that was good at least. Alright, we got some good XP out of the whole uh, situation. So that there, that's nice. Let's just say that's why we did it. And now just leave. Because after all that, we don't get the magazine. The one reason it came here, we don't get the magazine anyway. But we did level up. All right, you know what we got? We got an unbreakable skeleton. You can't complain about that. But I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now because, uh, yes, I could do with um a cup of tea, actually. After a 30-second raid turned into a complete dungeon run involving many, many mutants. But, 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 next week... The ultimate destination of this trip shall be revealed as to will the item that I consider rather essential for the Nuka World Gauntlet. Answers coming up next week. Hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I'll be John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away! Go away, nobody likes you! That was a good idea till it wasn't.